Welcome to the Beyond Cinema and Bio.com studio up here at TIFF. Uh, holiday, Max, Sam, Douglas. Hello. Uh, congratulations on the film's premiere last night. Was that the first time you guys had seen the film? No, but with an audience. With an audience. With a big yeah. audience. A very big audience. Yeah. Intimidating. Very big large. audience. Yeah, huge, huge building, right? Yeah. But we were um, on the balcony, so if it went wrong, we could just throw ourselves <laughs> off. <laughs> Under pressure. Are you guys good at seeing yourselves on film? I mean, obviously, you've all had a bit of experience now, but like, is that something that's a comfortable or uncomfortable feeling for you? Kind of fine. It's just me on screen. <laughs> yeah. I hate it. You do? Yeah, I really, really despise my face. Um, <laughs> which is why I'm never going to watch this interview. Um, no, I, I, but I do take genuinely take it as a very nice thing. Yeah. 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 It's not my cup of tea, personally. Everyone's different, though, I think. Do you, do you? I, I'm not sure. At time, if, if, if the movie's good, it's okay to watch, mm. and if it's bad, it's horrible. I mean, that's just kind of a normal thing. And if I, I had a face like that, I'd probably be a bit happier. <laughs> <laughs> Um, obviously, Lana, ha having done an education um, and received the kind of more international recognition uh, with that project, um, you know, obviously opened her up to working again in, in English and with like a group like you guys, uh, again, of up and coming actors, just like Kerry Mulligan, you know, uh, with an education. But so when you met her for the first time, did you guys meet her individually? Did you meet her together? Were you already kind of assembled as a team? Like, how did that happen? I think we all met individually first. Yeah. And then we started to hear little rumors here and there about how the cars were shaping up. Because some of you had worked together before, obviously, on, like, yeah. on Posh and um, you guys had worked together before, right? Or not? No, no, we'd, no. We'd, work, we'd worked together it. before. Yeah. And we had before. We've worked with And we knew each other. We knew. We and, and I knew Max. It, it was one of those things I think we yeah. all had a link one way or another, whether it's. It's about six degrees of separation, you know, English. I think everyone knew everyone. Yeah, yeah. The actual community in England is, is only so big, so we were only one step yeah. away from each other if we didn't already know each you other. If you didn't know them, you were best friends with their best friend, or you could have dad or something. Right, because it was one of those projects that yeah. it just seemed like you should know each other at least a little bit because yes. a I mean, every, well, what's great about it is that everyone that I'd auditioned against for the last five years was in one project <laughs> there's no, there no competition <laughs> like, oh okay we're all, we're all good we're all we happy all right, get the part. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's good. but yeah was that different too instead of like working like one person with you know an older more established peerage you know you're all working within kind of people that you're like you're saying like you're up against and so you've kind of got this peer group level where it's like you can mutual you can, respect mm -hmm. and yeah. also a sense of does it give you more freedom to play and kind of I think so everyone up? everyone you know there was no big egos there was no we were all you know, which could, have, which could have happened easily. You know, one person in the group yeah, that would decided have completely to completely fractured, yeah. or dominate, but there was none of that. And we all knew the kind of film we wanted to make and how important I think the film we were trying to make was. So it, it was a. a and and chemistry was so important, I think, if you see on screen, the banter and the back and forth, and it's, it's, it's very necessary. We have to be very quick. So we put loads of effort into sort of meeting up, going, went paintballing, hung out, had dinners. Sound like awful hard work. Yeah, yeah, it was, yeah, it was a <laughs> really, really tough job. Did yeah. they keep you out of that? Or yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, so how much we talk about kind of this bigger message? Um, how much of that did you guys discuss um, with Lena, or just were you left to your own devices in kind of working out how much to kind of go on the real path versus? Well, we discussed, but also our characters. So we all contributed research to each other. And our characters were so different and driven by different things. So we had to do different research, uh, but we all contributed. And we did speak about the message or, 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 or lack of forcing a message onto the audience. We didn't want to be judgmental. Um, yeah, we didn't, we didn't set out to make a political movie. I mean, this movie may be political by resonance, yeah. but you know. Yeah, you can't, you can't help but, you know, be aware of the sort of ramifications of this being made. But at the same time, it was. It was never sort of at the forefront of the reasons why we were any of us kind of attached ourselves. Um, so it was definitely sort of brought up in conversation, but I think we all just tried to set out to achieve, you know, making the best film possible and, uh, you know, pursuing our sort of desire to kind of make these characters original. And we weren't, 
basing them on anyone that was, you know, being anyone real. Anyone real yeah. Mm. Did that? Were you given like film visual references, like as to kind of what kind of movie you were going for, or like how that? Well, I mean, Sebastian did. He, 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 mm -hmm. he definitely had mood boards and stuff, and Mona had a very, very clear vision. But I didn't have. I had no idea what the movie was going to look like until we shot it. I didn't, you know, it, it, the, I personally think the movie is stunning the way it's shot and. I hadn't when they when they were shooting. I didn't know what they were doing. I saw it and I was like, Jesus, who are you doing that? That's Sebastian's beautiful. Sebastian's so clever that he he was a genius. He'd yeah. come on with like he'd go and find spoons and little bits of Shop like glasses, little yeah. bits of like shoe leather. Well, I don't know what he had. Well, it's just this in front of the lens. Some sort of wire in front of the lens, and then would would do crazy stuff with it. Or shoot yeah. through a shot glass, or yeah. like some of those when we when we get absolutely wasted. And so those shots where you see we're absolutely messed and you can't really tell what's going on. He's doing all this great stuff, or he would just put like a bit of tape through across the yeah. lens, straight through. He'd do all yeah. sorts of little tricks and kind of create a great, a really interesting texture. And how do they create that environment? Obviously, you know, you're not meant to be getting actually wasted, um, but yet that environment was so intense. <laughs> I, th I think, well, that whole scene we shot in order, so we kind of could naturally kind of get the place we needed to go. I mean, we shot it over weeks, but it kind of, we, you, by the end of the day, you felt wasted, you felt well, drunk. Because yeah, it's that feeling of being on a boat, you know, that yeah. feeling when you kind of get off a boat and you've been on a boat all day and you're still wobbling. Yeah. It definitely felt like that for two weeks. I was getting home, my wife was like, what's wrong with you? I was like, I don't know. And also, <laughs> that, 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 some of the text, your, your scene in particular, when you were standing on the table giving your, giving mm -hmm. your monologue, you know, um, peaking in, in I Can't Stand Poor People, uh, at the end of that, you, you sort of, when they say cut, you, you just have to get out of the room. It really gets into the, yeah. the bile that these guys are speaking. Um, so actually, wasn't that hard? Yeah. And if you tell yourself something enough times, you just believe it, it, it in anything in life. Yeah. If you tell you, I, I'm wasted, I'm drunk, I'm drunk, I'm drunk, your brain eventually goes, okay, I'm drunk. And I now hate poor people. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it was an intense, there was definitely an intensity there last night in terms of that discomfort that people feel. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, was definitely high. Was people were like, do we a, clap, do we not clap? Yeah, that was the best moment. The gasp. The yeah. gasp. Like the, yeah. like the, 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 the Some guy started the shouting at one point. Did he hear? He was like, no! Don't! It was, you can't say that! Like, fuck, fuck, yeah. fuck, 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 fuck. We can hear we you. Something like, different, yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. It's yeah, going to be beep, 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 beep. Yeah. And there are words that are not as bad in the UK as they are here. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That was... And that kind of like made everybody kind of go silent oh, yeah. for a couple of seconds. Yeah. Um, you know, in terms of like the setting of these great universities, um, and so many of you having worked on kind of very kind of period pieces and costumey pieces, um, did that just change everything? The location does that does that like create that environment for you? Kind of a lot of time. Oh, well, we were in, we were in Oxford. Oh, yeah. We shot in Oxford a fair bit. We well, shot that, in and that old house that well, yes. everyone shoots everything out that shot. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm like, shooting like, there in a couple of weeks. Don't call. Don't call. I'm there in a couple of weeks. Yeah. Location's like a costume. You know, it helps you get into it. Yeah. And the only real studio stuff was the room, which of course felt like we were there forever. But that was the because we had to trash it. We created that room. And bio.com. Final question for each of you: If you could work with anybody alive or dead, who would it be? Paul Thomas Anderson. Dead dog. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, 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 I'm joking. No. Um, I, I think I'd probably do this whole experience again, personally. Yeah. I think Philip Seymour from the frame. Oh, oh, all of these guys. <laughs> this is so boring. <laughs> Outside the room? Yeah. Outside the room. Outside the room. <laughs> I'll be here for about 10 minutes, come back to me later. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, thanks guys, thanks, thanks for coming so much. Thanks you. <laughs>